Hey Vogue, it's Addison Ray, and I'm gonna show you what I wear in a week. So this look is pretty much like my everyday um, going out, but cute and comfortable at the same time. And these boots are Dries, these shorts are American Eagle, Blazer from Theory and bra from Tannin Line. Whenever I try to get like dressed up to go somewhere, especially if it's like casual, like just going out for a walk or to the store or something like that, I try to like grab something that kind of contrasts a little bit. I think shorts with the blazer is a perfect mix of like still like mature and like classy, but the shorts kind of like make it a little more young. I haven't always been into blazers because I'm from Louisiana. I used to just go to like practices and like school, so I wouldn't really dress up very much, but now I'm doing a lot more, so I do dress up. This is my workout outfit slash going to the gym, going to Pilates. Honestly, I would probably wear this like anywhere also to work out, but like I also think workout clothes are cute just for every day too. And these shoes are Adidas. This biker short and sports bra set are TNA. I love this sweater because it's super cute and comfortable and I can just throw it on after or before a workout. And it is by Bella Freud. And if you didn't know, she is the great granddaughter of Sigmund Freud. My favorite workout is probably Pilates. I used to do Pilates like every once in a while when I was in dance a lot. But more recently I've been doing it with a lot of friends and it's been really fun. Can you name one thing from 1970? No. <laughs> I honestly cannot. September from Earth, Wind, and Fire. Is that right? So this is kind of my running around town in LA um, daytime outfit. The bomber is from Acne Studios, the dress is from the Amande, and the shoes are Vans. I'm obsessed with this tone of this dress. It's kind of like champagne-y, peachy, but still like a nude. Um, and this is more of a brownish nude, but any types of nudes, I love. <laughs> Just kidding. I love wearing a bomber with a dress. I think it's super cute. Kind of dresses it up, but also makes it a little more edgy. I definitely got more comfortable with wearing dresses during the daytime, being in LA. I was doing a TikTok. I was trying to learn TikTok but I haven't learned it yet. Just trying to in my green room. <laughs> so this is my throwback outfit. I was actually born in the 2000s and that was kind of around the time whenever these were really popular. This is a Juicy Couture sweatsuit, a Hanes t-shirt, Vans that are simple and white, and then a by far bag, which kind of reminds me of like a watermelon. I definitely always dreamt of having a Juicy sweatsuit when I was little, but in the past year, Juicy actually sent me some, so that was really fun. And they have my name on the butt, which is really cute too. My entire Pinterest board is pretty much 2000s at this point. I know it's not very dressy, but I think it's very casual and comfortable, but still really cute and fashionable. This is my day to night look. This dress is the Amande. The shoes are Adidas. And this necklace is from 14 Carats. And I actually customized this necklace. And splurging on jewelry is like something that I've just recently found a kind of love for because I can dress it up or dress it down. And it's something that really never loses its value. These kind of shirts are always super flattering, super comfortable, super cute and stylish. So the first thing I would do to switch this day outfit to a night outfit is put on a pair of heels. These shoes are Jimmy Choo. And then I would put on a blazer. <laughs> Should I do that again? Okay, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't even do that. I think every girl should have a blazer, a shirt dress, and a pair of heels because it is super easy to dress up and look super nice and clean. Actually, I think I'm gonna add a bag to this. Shirt dress, blazer, heels, bag, check. Me 
walking in these heels is literally hilarious. This is like my New York City girl street style look. Um, this tee is Bosu C. These boots and bag are by far, and the pants are philosophy. When I think of New York street style, I think of lots of like dark colors. I feel like I always see people in pictures in New York like very street style-y, like walking, casual, maybe like a strong pose. I would probably wear white boots or boots in general with like anything. I think boots always look really good with pants or cutoffs. I'm fine with walking in heels. I don't really care how far I have to walk in heels. I have a really high pain tolerance. I just think like, why? <laughs> like why would you do it if you didn't have to? I'm just used to it because of dance. So dancing kind of like trained my feet to be tough. Preferably I'd rather wear like sneakers if I'm gonna walk a couple blocks. And here's my New York runway strut. <laughs> this is my going out at night or going out with the girlfriends look. This dress is Fleur du Mal. Um, the shoes are Jimmy Choo. And I got some little dainty jewels on. With this really, you know, simple silk slip, I can use like a really crazy shoe with a lot of bling or even color. A pop of color is always great for a shoe. I definitely think a shoe is where you can kind of go crazy a little bit sometimes. I feel super sleek and sexy in a slip dress and it also makes me reminiscent of like the 90s, which isn't necessarily something you'd exactly think about when you think of the 90s, but like Jennifer Aniston, Kate Moss, a lot of like the supermodels in the 90s would wear slip dresses. I like to think I can be a supermodel, but I am 5'3", so. <laughs> what I miss most about going out is just like human interaction. I feel like all of us miss kind of like being able to connect with new people that we meet. Another thing I'm really excited about for going out is to hopefully hear my new single, Obsessed, play. I've heard it on the radio a few times, which is absolutely insane, but hearing it out at like a restaurant or a party would be so much fun. So hopefully that will come soon. I think sometimes people think sexy is like short, but it can also be long and um, still give you some waist and curve but in a little more coveragey way. Vogue, thank you so much for having me and I will hopefully see you guys next time. Thank you so much again. Mwah.